Rational functions, section 3.7. Sketch a graph of f of x equal 2x squared minus 7x plus 9 over x minus 3. First step, do long division uh, to get f of x equal 2x minus 1 plus 6 over x minus 3. We actually did this long division uh, example um, previously, uh, and this was the result we got. Um, and um, this tells us there's going to be two asymptotes. We have um, uh, a slanted asymptote. Uh, the quotient tells gives us the uh, slanted asymptote. That's going to be uh, y equal 2x minus 1. And uh, also the um, denominator will give us um, a, a vertical asymptote. That's, uh, x, uh, that's when the denominator is 0. That will be x is equal to 3. Um, so we have two asymptotes. Uh, y equal 2x minus 1 and x equal 3. And uh, when there's one vertical asymptote and one other asymptote uh, that's not vertical, uh, the, um, the shape of the graph is actually going to be a hyperbola. We studied hyperbolas already, uh, but, so that, but uh, uh, some, some uh, rational functions are also hyperbolas. Um, okay, so then uh, we want to make a table of values, uh, and we want to um, uh, pick points on either side of the vertical asymptote. That's where, uh, uh, where the uh, function is undefined. Uh, so I, um, that's where x is equal to 3. I pick some numbers less than 3, 0, 1, and 2. Pick some numbers more than 3, 4, and 5. And then um, um, compute f of x for those points. And I can plot those points. Uh, I plotted them in red uh, on the graph. And we also need to put in the asymptotes. Uh, the vertical asymptote uh, was where x is equal to 3, so I made a dotted line there. And then the slanted asymptote, y equal 2x minus 1. The y-intercept is negative 1. And then if you go over 1, up 2, you'll get another point on the graph and connect the points and make another dotted line for the slanted asymptote. Uh, and, then, um, and then we can extend the, um, uh, uh, connect the dots and, and extend it toward the asymptotes uh, on, on both parts. Uh, for a hyperbola, um, the graph is um, will not cross an asymptote. Uh, some of the more complicated functions will will the, the graph may actually cross an asymptote. But uh, for a hyperbola, if there's one uh, vertical and one non-vertical asymptote, the graph will be a hyperbola and uh, it's not going to cross. Um, the graph, the, the hyperbola itself, will not cross the asymptotes. Um, okay, so another example: um, f of x equal 2x minus 1 over x plus 3. Again, we can start out by dividing in order to get the asymptotes, uh, and we get a uh, quotient of uh, 2 with a remainder uh, negative 7, so it's 2 minus 7 over x plus 3. And uh, again, this tells us we'll have two asymptotes. The, the quotient will be the, um, uh, in this case, is a horizontal asymptote. We have slope 0, uh, y equal 2. Uh, and then um, we'll have a vertical asymptote where the denominator is 0. Uh, that's uh, x is equal to negative 3. Uh, and again, we want to uh, pick some, it's going to be a hyperbola again. We have one vertical and not one non-vertical asymptote. Uh, and we want to pick. Uh, some points on either side of the vertical asymptote. So uh, we'll pick uh, numbers less than negative 3. I picked negative 5, negative 4. And some numbers more than negative 3. I picked negative 2, negative 1, and 0. And um, compute, um, um, plug these numbers into the, the formula for the function to compute the, uh, um, the y values there and plot the point. Uh, and we can draw the asymptotes. y equal 2, it's a horizontal asymptote x equals um, negative 3 uh, is a um, vertical asymptote. And then um, uh, connect the points and extend it, the graph toward the asymptotes. Uh, okay. Uh, next example. Uh, f of x equals x squared over uh, x squared minus 4. Again, we want to uh, divide in order to do long division in order to get the asymptotes. Uh, we when we divide, we get, get quotient 1 with the remainder of 4, so it's 1 plus 4 over x squared minus 4. And then um, uh, this tells us we'll have a horizontal asymptote 1, that the quotient uh, is uh, our horizontal asymptote. In this case, the slope is 0. Uh, 
uh, so we have y equal one that's horizontal, and we're going to have two vertical asymptotes. Uh, vertical asymptotes occur when the denominator is zero. So if x is either two or negative two, that will make the denominator zero. So we have two vertical asymptotes. So this will not be a hyperbola. Uh, for this one, uh, the, the graph still doesn't cross the asymptote, but it's, it's not a hyperbola we ha because we have too many asymptotes. Um, and um, so we have uh, the two vertical asymptotes, uh, and we want pick points on either sides of the vertical asymptote. This is actually um, an, an even function. Uh, if you notice, we, we have uh, uh, even power of x in the numerator, even power of x in the denominator, um, even divided by even is, is even. So it's, uh, uh, it's going to be an even function. Um, and uh, so if we plug in 4, we, uh, we're going to get the same answer if it, plugging in negative 4. So I, I combine those. Um, I don't, you don't have to do the computation twice. Um, so anyway, I put points on either sides of the asymptotes. Uh, put plus or minus 4, plus or minus 3. The asymptotes, vertical asymptotes are plus or minus 2. And then I put in plus or minus 1 and uh, 0 and um, plotted those points. And uh, I drew the asymptotes with the dotted line. Uh, we have a dotted line for y equal 1. That's a horizontal asymptote. And a dotted lines for x equal negative 2 and x equal positive 2. Those are the vertical asymptotes. And then uh, connect the dots, extend it toward the asymptotes. Um, now this is not a hyperbola because there's uh, too many asymptotes. Uh, to my knowledge, people have not yet agreed on a name for this shape. Um, sketch the graph of uh, f of x equal 1 over x squared plus 1. Uh, if we divide, we get quotient 0 with remainder 1. So it's, we can write this 0 plus 1 over x squared plus 1. Um, so the graph is going to have a horizontal asymptote. That's our, our quotient uh, is 0. And um, uh, there's, n there's no vertical asymptote uh, because there's no real number that will make the denominator 0. Um, so um, no, no vertical asymptote on that. Uh, x squared, if, as long as x is real, x squared is, is going to be at least 0. If you add 1 to it, it's going to be at least 1. So there's nothing that will make the denominator 0. Uh, so again, this is uh, an even function. Um, so I'm, if you put in 2, you get the same result as negative 2. Um, and uh, so I, I picked some values for x and uh, computed f of x, plotted the points, connected dots. Uh, this is actually a, a bell-shaped graph. If you uh, take statistics, you may encounter uh, a, a bell-shaped graphs there. Uh, the most famous one is the, the standard normal or the Z uh, uh, curve, but this is uh, this is actually a T curve with with two degrees of freedom. So it's um, it's one of the bell-shaped curves. It's not the uh, it's not the main uh, bell-shaped curve that uh, uh, you think about when you take statistics, but it's one of the, one of the one of the bell-shaped curves of statistics. Um, another example, uh, f of x equal x squared plus x minus 2 over uh, x plus 2. If we divide, uh, we get um, quotient x minus 1 and remainder 0. Uh, if you divide and get remainder 0, there's no asymptote. So this graph is going to have no asymptote. Um, uh, it's just going to be a straight line. Uh, Normally, our quotient is going to be our, our uh, asymptote, but in this case, the, the actual graph of the function is going to be a straight line, y equal x minus 1, but it's going to have a hole in it at, at x equal negative 2, uh, because it's undefined when x is equal to negative 2. Uh, so, um, so we can make a table of values. Since, since we know it's going to be a straight line, we really only need two points, and we want to uh, uh, plot the hole. So if we uh, plug in negative 2 into the formula for um, for y, um, it, it's uh, y equal x minus 1, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Uh, y equal um, x minus 1, y equal 5 minus 1 is 4. So these these are um, these two points are on the line, but this uh, this one this first one is not a function. That's where the hole is going to be. So we make an open circle there. Uh, this is a point five four five to the right up four. Uh, make, you can make a closed circle there and connect the dots, and um, uh, and that's that's our graph. 
So that uh, concludes this presentation.